Hello and welcome to our discussion on preparation of financial statements in the series of the preparation of financial statement in the lecture number six. This is Professor Ramana. And um, to recap, we said uh, that every business decision will involve financial items and all these financial items will find place in the financial statements, balance sheet, income statement and cash flow statement. In today's session, we will try to understand the bad debts and later on we get into the effect of the provision for doubtful debts on the financial statement. So bad debt is a loss due to the insolvency of insolvency of the debtor. So debtors will reduce will reduce and uh, and the loss will be or bad debt will be shown okay bad debt will be shown in the income statement as a loss okay that's uh, that is the understanding expected effects on the financial statement now let us observe that with this uh, example as usual we have a set of transactions and here there is a bad debt of 200. We'll see how is the balance sheet, income statement, cash flow affected by that. Let us continue. As a capital is a source and capital is a receipt. Okay, capital is a receipt. So, uh, 1500. You purchase stock for cash. So, stock purchase is a payment, 680 and is an acquisition of asset so stock is 680 you sold 50 percent of the stock for 900 so the sales is equal to 900 but it is on credit so there is a debtor debtor is 900 so debtor is 900 no cash flow because it is on credit but whenever there is a sale there has to be cost of goods sold and the cost of goods sold is 50% of the stock that you purchase so that is COGS is an expense and if the stock of goods sold has will reduce the stock to that extent so on the balance sheet the stock will go down expenses so expenses for the period is 250 and you pay that expenses so it's a cash outflow so the entire expenses paid so no outstanding liability for expenses now you see there's a bad debt of 200 so you're supposed to collect from the debtor 900 but 200 is becoming bad so as we mentioned there in the ex in the PowerPoint so bad debt is a loss so 200 is a bad debt is a loss but is no cash inflow or cash outflow but the debtors to the extent of 200 will reduce so let us see this debtor so debtor was 900 because of sales no collection the bad debt has happened and bad debt is a loss due to the insolvency of the debtor so debtors will come down to that extent no other expense so therefore let us find the profit for the period so that is total expenses profit before tax is 900 minus 790 uh, so PBT is 110 and the tax rate is given 30 percent so therefore profit after tax is 77 let us for the time being assume that the tax I'm paying so there is a cash outflow and this pant if no information is given we assume that the firm retain the profit so entire profit is retained in the business then let us find out the cash in hand for the firm so cash receipts minus the cash payment so cash in hand will be 1500 minus 963 and cash in hand is an asset so cash in hand is an asset okay 
so the balance sheet tallies so the the point that we wanted to mention here is a bad debt is a loss due to due to the insolvency of the debtor okay that was the so later on we'll see if this bad debt is not happening but the firm is expecting that loss and therefore they want to create provision but for the time being we examine the effect of bad debt on the balance sheet as we have mentioned here bad debt will appear as a loss in the income statement debtors will reduce in the balance sheet no effect on the cash flow for the bad debt so bad reduces debtor reduces okay the debtor reduced and bad debt appears as a loss in the income statement thank you very much